godless. View co-host Joy Behar bashes Trump for mentioning God, says his bandage his bandage should have been over his mouth. Now, why aren't the Democrats speaking out against these godless um, leftists that come out and bash people that that um, talk about God, that pray to God, that are Christians? How can Christians in their right mind support leftists like this? I, I, I don't I don't understand how the, how they can be a Democrat and, and, and call themselves a Christian. It makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, so we're going we're gonna to play the clip of um, J- what Joy Behar said. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. And that's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. All right, so let's talk about this news now. This comes from the Gateway Pundit's Anthony Scott. And he reports that View co-host Joy Behar in a Friday morning airing of The View, made a disgusting comment regarding Donald Trump's speech on Thursday night at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Behar stated that Trump shouldn't have mentioned God in his speech. Why not? Why not? I thought we have freedom of religion here in the United States. Why shouldn't he have mentioned God? Um, Especially after an attempted suicide where he came within millimeters of getting his head blown off. Why wouldn't anyone that's a, that's, that um, believes in God mention God? Um, Behar stated that Trump shouldn't have mentioned God in the speech. The View co-host stated, quote, I was raised Catholic. I'm a Christian girl. When something like this happens to you, like this assassination attempt, and you say something like God was watching me, that is very un... Christian? What? That is Christian? <laughs> Why else would you... Exp- how else could you explain a miraculous thing like this other than God being in... Um, in your life uh, preventing you from getting your head blown off. I mean, she is despicable. So um, I'm going to play the clip here. Okay, um, here we go. I want to point out one thing. I'm speaking to fellow Christians. I was raised Catholic. I'm a Christian girl. When something like this happens to you, like this assassination attempt, and you say something like God is watching, was watching me, that is a very unchristian thing to say because it's it's very very narcissistic. What about, what about Corey, what's his name? Uh, uh, Convoy Torrey, the fireman who also got killed. I don't know. I think I'm Christian. What about all those guys who got killed on uh, Sandy Hook? All of those people. Yeah. It's like, oh, God was watching me and not watching them. There's something very disturbing. God should have pulled the plug on that mic yesterday. <laughs> Wait, God is the technician now? Yes. He'll be right back. You needed one. <laughs> I'm going to point out one thing. He should, the first thing he should have did was praise God when, he, when his life was spared like that. I mean, he did the right thing by giving it to God. God was watching him. I mean, how else, again, how else do you, um, how else can you uh, describe him coming within millimeters of losing his life other than divine intervention? See, these people, they pretend they're Christian. She's, I'm, again, I'm not going to judge her because the Bible says don't judge. You can't really say if someone is a Christian or not. She says she's a Christian, so I'm going to take her at her word and let let uh, God decide when, when her time is up and she has to speak for herself. So uh, uh, God says not to judge, so I'm going to not say she's not a Christian. But let's just say if she is a Christian like she states, then what is more, what is, could be more Christian than praising God? <laughs> Praising God for saving you. I mean, this she, she's totally her 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 I, I, her um ideals are totally warped. But um, per IJR, during his speech accept, uh, accepting the Republican presidential nomination, Trump stated it was because of God he was able to stand on stage after uh, a gunman tried to kill him at a rally. And you should be glorifying God in this case. If he didn't mention God. I would have been upset about it. I mean, however, Behar said, I was raised Catholic. I'm a Christian girl. When something like this happens to you, like this assassination attempt, and you say something like God was watching me, that is very unchristian thing to say because it's very narcissistic. No, it's not. The Bible tells you to praise God, especially in incidences like this. Um, what about Corey? What about his name? You know, you, you heard what she said. But co-host Anna Navarro chimed in and she said God should have pulled the plug on the mic yesterday. She also suggested the bandage Trump had on his ear should have been over his mouth. And Behar has been a severe critique 
um, of Trump over the years. In June, Bayard falsely claimed Trump would shut down the view if elected. I mean, these people are crazy. They, and again, she pretends she's a, well, again, I, I keep saying that I have to stop judging these people like that because I'm not supposed to do that. I know the Bible explicitly say not judge. When they talk about I'm not not judging, they're talking about not we're not talking about behavior. We're talking about judging if someone's going to go to heaven or hell or not. That's what the Bible's talking about. So I I can't really say she's a Christian or not. I just know what Trump said is very Christian and what she believes is is not true at all. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.